वेलकम टू दी वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ डिजिटल इमेज प्रोसेसिंग दिस इज लेक्चर नंबर 26 सिक्स टूडेज टॉपिक इज होमोमॉर्फिक फिल्टरिंग होमोमॉर्फिक फिल्टरिंग इज अ टाइप ऑफ इट इज अ प्रोसेस ऑफ इमेज एनहेंसमेंट सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस टॉपिक जस्ट लेट मी रिमाइंड यू इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स यू हैव स्टडीड अबाउट द इमेज क्वालिटी वॉट इज द नीड ऑफ इमेज एनहेंसमेंट what are image enhancement operations and image enhancement in spatial domain and in frequency domain for both domains you have studied various techniques how the images can be enhanced either in the spatial domain or in the frequency domain so let us start today's topic which is homomorphic filtering so first you need to understand what is homomorphic filtering what is this term homomorphic homomorphic means similar in nature similarity in between so homomorphic filtering it is being defined in three steps basically which is it is a generalized technique for signal and image processing involving a non linear mapping to a different domain in which linear filter techniques are applied which is followed by mapping back to the original domain so here a original image is being processed which is mapped to a different domain and then a linear filter is being applied and at the end original image needs to be reconstructed so homomorphic filtering simultaneously normalizes brightness across the image and it increases contrast as well what are the application areas where homomorphic filtering can be applied it is used for remo removing multiplicative noise which has certain characteristics and can be identified very nicely it can also be used in correcting non uniform illumination in the images it can be used for improving the appearance of gray scale so these are the major applications in which homomorphic filtering can be used what is illumination reflectance model you need to understand it before understanding what is the procedure via which original image can be re reconstructed via homomorphic filtering so what is ir model you have studied that any image model can be represented mathematically as a product of illumination function and reflect reflectance function you know that light falling on an object is known as illumination while light reflecting from an object is known as reflectance so this term lxy is actually the illumination and r of xy is the reflectance so the illumination reflectance model can be used to address the problem of improving image quality where the images have been acquired under poor illumination conditions like there is a problem of a light light was not available which was the required one and you have clicked the image so image may be dark in nature or sometimes you have taken a image but there was a variety of noise that the image was blur and some artifacts may also be available in the case of the images so accordingly for those types of images image quality can be improved for many images illumination is the primary contributor to the dynamic range and this illumination varies slowly if you observe it behavior it varies slowly but if you observe the behavior of reflectance component it varies rapidly so these characteristics lead to the association of low frequency of fourier transform of logarithmic of an image with illumination means low frequencies related with the illumination and variation of high frequencies with the reflectance so these properties have been utilized while defining the process of homomorphic filtering 
What is the basic idea? The basic idea of homomorphic filter is to separate out these components and apply to different transfer functions so that more control can be taken over and accordingly image can be processed. So you know that if fxy is the original image, so it can be represented as a, as a product of ixy which is the illumination and rxy which is the reflectance. But at the same time, you have studied the properties of Fourier transform and you know that the Fourier transform is cannot be defined for the product of two functions and it is not separable in nature. See, Fourier transform of this complete image, this is not equal to the Fourier transform of illumination into the Fourier transform of reflectance. So here, Fourier transform cannot be applied over here. So you need to identify some different function via which this type of mathematical analysis can be taken forward. So if not Fourier transform, then what is the another function? So to understand it, the procedure of applying homomorphic filtering, this is being divided into a number of steps. So what is the step one? You know that Fourier transform is not being applied. So you have to identify another function. So logarithmic function can be applied to the image and the product of two terms, if you apply the logarithmic on its whole term, it will give you the sum of the both individual terms. So here, logarithmic of fxy is equal to what? This ln of illumination component plus logarithmic of reflectance. What is step two? After achieving this, then you have to apply Fourier transform to the log of these components. So now apply Fourier transform. See, by applying Fourier transform, here we are saying that the here the resultant is xy. So what is this? Zxy is what? Fourier transform of this whole function. This is equal to what? Fourier transform of this logarithmic term plus Fourier transform of this term. Alternatively, it can be written as Z of u comma v, which is what f i u comma v plus f r of this term. Here you know that this f i u comma v, this is what the Fourier transform of this term, while f r reflectance component, this is the Fourier transform of this term. So from here, it is very much clear that how to write down and how to convert it from the spatial domain to the time domain. Next step is you have to identify the transfer function which can be applied to the two different components. It means you have to process this image z by means of a filter function so that design filters separately for elimination and reflectance components. See, now we are achieving, you, are, you have to identify, you have to formulate a transfer function S of UV, which is what? H of this into Z means this function is being processed via this filter. So multiplication of these two terms, but at the same time, you know that Z of U comma V is what? Fi term plus Fr means illumination and reflectance. Now you substitute these two terms, you will be getting this term. H of UV into Fi illumination component plus H of UV into reflectance. Here, SUV is the Fourier transform of the result. Means whatever we have obtained in the last stage, upon applying Fourier transform, you are getting this particular result. So this is in the frequency domain. Next step is, in spatial domain, apply inverse Fourier transform to the filtered image. How mathematically it is being represented? See, you have to extract, you have to again require original image in the spatial domain. So you will be taking the Fourier transform of the like response being received in the last stage and S of UV is what? 
H into Fi illumination plus filter component into the reflection one. Just you have sub, uh, separated out these two terms Fourier transform of this plus Fourier transform of this term means here I dash of XY plus R dash means this is what again the illuminated component illumination and this is the reflectance component when you are extracting the information after applying inverse Fourier transform. So you see S of UV is the Fourier transform you are applying inverse Fourier transform and receiving the original components. And the last step is applying anti-log function to the recover original image. To recover original image you have to apply anti-log function. Why? Because when you have started the procedure for homomorphic filtering in the very first step you have taken the log logarithmic. So to offset the logarithmic applied in step 1 now we have to apply anti-log function. See gxy is the recovered image which is what anti-log of this and from here again you will be able to recover both the components illumination and reflectance see again this is a product of these two terms as you have studied in the IR model see ki any image formation can be represented mathematically by a product of illumination and reflectance one see I not XY as I have told you that it is the illumination component R not XY is the reflectance component of the output image. So these are the steps being applied for the homomorphic filtering. The enhancement approach because you know that homomorphic filtering is generally used for the image enhancement to vary the brightness and to vary the contrast. So it has a numerous applications for the image enhancement in number of fields. So whole step all these five steps can be summarized into a diagram which is shown over here. See this is the original image. First step you have to take the logarithmic then you have applied Fourier transform. After this a filter is being applied then in the next step inverse Fourier transform and in the last step its effect is being compensated offset log apply here you have applied log so here you have to take the anti-log and you will be able to extract the original image in the output. So this is all about the homomorphic filtering. So students in today's lecture you have studied about the homomorphic filtering how many steps are there how to apply it how to write down it mathematically. Thank you very much for listening it carefully. Don't forget to attend next class, watch next class video as well because in the next class I am going to start the next topic, next chapter you can say which is all about image restoration. Thank you so much.